Hey guys, if you're watching this back, I'm just waiting for people to join. I'm currently live at the moment, but I'm outside in the spitting rain in the summer. It would have been really nice to be outside in the summer sunshine, but I can't see that one happening. I just thought I would jump for a quick chat. Ugh. Although I'm not thinking of the best comf company right now. These are more like my dear diary than than anything else at the moment. Wait a wee second. Come on. Todd needs out to pee. Go on then. And then I'll be barking in two seconds. <laughs> I have never been this unsure for anything in my entire life. And I feel like I'm going greer and greer by the day. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I've tried to say to Abs about possibly waiting until tomorrow, but we're going to see how tonight goes. So, I don't know. I can't see us getting through tonight without doing a pregnancy test. But. Thank you, Amy. This has just got to be a really difficult couple of days. Um, I don't know. See if I was going just by Abby's symptoms right now. At a hundred percent, I'd say there's no way she's not pregnant. But going by Abby being so uncertain this time is flinging me off, and I'm very well aware that she's on different meds this time that can also cause all these symptoms. So it's a really difficult one. I cannot get any sleep, Larissa. I'm not getting any sleep, but that's a fact. There ain't going to be no sleep in this household tonight, for sure. I'm having a coffee and I'm possibly going to do a TikTok shop live because Abby, who can't help but purchase things, and now she has an excuse to do so, you get a deadline with some of the things, so... And I'm not probably not going to want to do that in the next couple of days, regardless of the results. So I'm hoping that my coffee gives me some springy energy. <laughs> Positive vibes. Do you know, the like, the first seven days, I was a, a, such a positive, different person. And then the last few days, I've literally... For me, so bad. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Mary. But I know that we're going to be fine no matter what. That's the main thing. We can't change the outcome of this. I could hear bells ringing. That's strange. It's like wedding bells. But Whatever it'll be, will be. We'll either be celebrating tomorrow or holding each other a little bit tighter and remembering how good our life is to get over any hurt. And it's going to be one way or the other. That's just the reality of it. So it feels a bit difficult, but... No, oh, Abby's terrible, and there's a few companies on it that, that she can get a free sample with, but then they give you a deadline or you get banned from it. So I'm like, well, I'm going to have to do that for Abby because I'm going to do it tomorrow. Thank you. 
Thanks for all the love, guys. Honestly, I'm sorry that we haven't been live in that this week. I just don't feel like I'd be the best company. <laughs> I think we should do the test tomorrow, but I believe we'll do the test tonight. Whether it's at one o'clock in the morning or not, I don't think there's no way that I'll be awake after tonight. So I, I do think we'll do the test tonight. And thank you so much. Obviously, Abs was, if she felt really certain and positive, she was going to do the test herself. But I don't know if that's maybe even put more pressure on her thinking like that than if it's not, she's got to tell me it's negative. And that's why she's feeling on the rocks. I don't know. Such a difficult one. Thank you so much for the stars, guys. You don't have to send them. But your guys' support has been absolutely amazing. And I know so many people are so supportive and really want this for us as much as we want it for ourselves. And I don't know. I can't really say much until we actually know, I suppose. Abby's putting Hudson to sleep. She, we went out today and she felt really sick. How is there 8,000 people on here? <laughs> um, she felt really sick and came and had a lie down and then that's her not long out of her bed with Hudson boy. Again, it just, can be just the meds that's making her feel like that, but I can only pray that it's the her HCG level doubling and it's making her tired. What I say, Dabs, the hard thing is, even if we do a test tonight, she's got to continue with all of that and feeling pregnant, even if it is a negative result, she's got to continue feeling that horrible pregnant feeling until day 13 now, because they've changed it. Thank you, Jude. We all love you. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm trying not to cry. I know you can probably tell that, but I'm trying to hold myself together because I know later, regardless of the outcome, I am a big crybaby anyways. That's the part I'm most dreading about, obviously, is waiting for the test, but I'm not going to let Abby do it alone either. But I've, I've been trying to filter my head in so many ways. I, I, I can't, I, honestly, I am so 50 50. Like, my head's been going 50 50. Like, a part of me has been like, oh, imagine, oh, this is how I'll tell my family and that'll be so fun and so exciting. And like, so I have had that positive side thinking and then the fear and anxiety pulls it back. And then I just feel the opposite. So I've also been really thinking on you know, I we're blessed with the best family in the world and I am loving life so much with our kids that regardless of the outcome, we will be happy. We we will be, like, continue to be happy. Yeah, it might hurt, but we are happy. We're a happy family and I love my family bits. So, 
So when I came in today, when I came at the kitchen, the abs, if you've watched our last video update, you'll already know this, but abs had actually done a test on day seven and put the test stick back in. I promise you, I've not seen it. Abby's not seen it. It's in a packet. And I don't know whether she thought a bit positive that night and she was going to look at it or whether it just made her feel better. Like I said in the video, scratch an itch because that's just what was making her feel better. I don't know. And she done it on day as well. I'm not silly. That's not what we would look at to judge it anyways. I know there can be... Um, was it vapor lines? Whatever they're called. So I know she's not looked at it because Abby's been so up and down positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And uh, I have been so tempted today to find them tests just to look, but I haven't. Thank you, Vicky. Oh, trust me, we've both been itching to look. And we probably will tonight. We'll probably do a new test tonight. That's that's the reality of it. I, I, I give us to two o'clock in the morning. Last night, Abby asked to do the test and I said, please, to wait. And we didn't do the test last night. So tonight I feel like Abby wants the confirmation of does she solely feel like as bad as she does for a good reason or if it's all in her head? I, I don't know, all in her head from the medication, obviously. I think that's the confirmation that abs feel like she needs tonight. So. Hudson's not asleep yet. <laughs> Hudson! Get to your bed. That's his not for going to sleep. <laughs> Are you not going to sleep? Get me second, guys. Do you want me to give them a cuddle? Oh, come see, Dad. Yeah. We're doing a good luck, mummies. Oh, who's, who's in there? Oh, We are the luckiest mummies in the world, really. Yeah, Kai. No. Huh? Kai's not here tonight. Kai will be home soon. Huh? I'll be home soon. I said for mommy. Oh, <laughs> mum put in pocket. No, it's bedtime. Mum put in pocket. I want it. <gasps> What's that noise? What's that noise? You do it bad. Neighbors. Huh? Awake the neighbours. Oh. Hold on. Oh, what's that? What's that noise? Right, take your dodo. No, you're not going down the steps. It's just Todd. He's doing the pee pee. Huh? Todd doing the pee pee. Yeah, dodo. Yeah, come on. Night, night, baby. Love you. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, come down. He is a big, big boy. So it's in a big boy. A tall puggy. What? A Todd the puggy. Todd's a pig, what? Yeah. No, he's not. What's Todd? What's Todd? Pink. Pink. Whose favourite colour is pink? I want the ball. No, you're not going to get the ball. No. Bedtime. No, no. Not me then. Come on. Let's Love you. Let's go and get your juice. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Doesn't want to go to bed tonight. Um, Hudson wants to stay up and party. Somebody is hoo hooing. Hudson is at nursery in the morning. Oh, Hudson would just party all day and not sleep. <laughs> We've got every different type of test, including a saliva test. So, um, well, we'll do, we'll look at them all. But this time, like, It, whatever it says, it says. A lot of people tried to convince us that it could be wrong last time, but whatever it says, it says. Sounds like there's kids in the forest. No, he had like a 20 minute nap in the car, but not a long enough nap for it to be a nap nap that he wouldn't want to go to sleep. I have just been chasing him about with excitement as well, though. Are you stuck, Toddy boy? Push it. Come on, it's a difficult one as well, because regardless to what the test results say now, the kids are at their dad's house. And we've kind of been, like, very honest with them in the sense of we don't know if it's going to work, but don't worry if it doesn't. Me and mum are fine. Oh, I don't know. Thank you, Lou. I appreciate that. Thank you, everybody, for the love. We appreciate it more than you know. Thanks, Gemma. He usually does have a sleep every afternoon. He uses a dummy at bedtime. Why is there so many kids about tonight? I don't even know there's kids around here. But I can hear kids everywhere. But yeah, he's only two. Abby is it right, this is the hard part as well. So Abby's at acupuncture tomorrow and the lady from the acupuncture would know tomorrow, even if Abby doesn't do a test, she would know if she's pregnant or not. Um because of her heart rate. And I'm not even lying, I have checked Abby's heart rate with Alexa four times today. Is that a bit obs obsessive? But Abby was like, you check it for 15 seconds and times it by four. <laughs> what is it, Toddy boy? What do you hear? Thank you, Amanda. But yeah, if, if we do go quiet for a couple of days, the chances are... If it's negative, you'll hear from us sooner than if it's pro positive. Well, I don't know. But 
we've got family to tell either way that are also rooting for us. So, yeah. The next few days, I'm going to be in hiding. <laughs> Am I frozen for anyone else? I know everybody keeps on saying to me as well that you can't compare pregnancy symptoms from the last. But that's what I've done a lot. I've compared all of our journeys and how she's felt with each other. And that's where I've came to this conclusion in my head. And I so hope I'm wrong. I hope we get a positive result and I'll still worry. Don't get me wrong, I'll still be a worrier right up until 10 weeks after how our last transfer ended. But it would be amazing to get to that point of having the positive test as well. Well, wish us luck, guys. I think I'm, I'll go and do the TikTok shop live for half an hour and then head to my bed, have another three coffees. Maybe I should just get hyper and all energetic that I'm not crying as much. <laughs> And I know so many people that have been like, listen, I've just went through the two week wait with not one symptom and I'm pregnant. Abby's had every single symptom, but I don't know if they're on the same medicated cycle as us or not. Like, it's massive difference. <sighs> but it's laying heavy here. It is quarter past nine. So it's very early for us. I don't think I've ever slept before midnight for years. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Family come first and The kiddos need to see that we're okay regardless too. Hey Rebecca. Right guys, I'm off. You may see me in the next 20 minutes or so over on TikTok if you watch us on there too. But if not, I will catch you really soon and either way soon our normal content and stuff on here will resume i, I can't ap I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know if it wasn't for your guys support and watching us on our social media platforms and allowing social media to be a job for us we'd have never been able to even go through our ivf journeys so from the bottom of my heart Thank you so much and I will see you very soon. Hopefully next time you see me, I'll be smiling ear to ear. Love to you all.